Hey guys, gals, and non-binary pals, welcome back to Reading Percy Jackson with my Christian mother. I'm Neil Martinez in the Halloween spirit, wearing my black Hades Cabin Camp half blood shirt and a skull um, hair club <laughs> and black lipstick. <laughs> and this is my co-host, my mom. My name is Misty. I am the Christian mom who is the bomb dot com. Um. If you didn't know, if this is your first time, this is a Percy Jackson read-along series where I read, where we read, we're reading the Percy Jackson series one book at a time, two chapters a week. Um, uh, with I read it with my Christian mom. Uh, if you're new and you like this episode, please uh, punch the like button down below, slash the subscribe button, and turn on that notification bell so you know whenever we release a new episode. Which is every Friday. Which is every Friday, yeah. We record on Sundays and we, we record. post on Fridays. Yeah, we record in the during the week. And then the last, the last, cha episode. the last two, the last two chap, the last episode, the last two chapters of each book is a live stream episode where we will answer any questions if anyone has any. All right. Well, let's dig right in. Let's dig into this, these chapters. I will say that I am totally digging this book. I liked the Lightning Thief, but mm -hmm. like I'm really, really liking this one. Yeah. Rereading The Lightning Thief, I realized why I got into the series, but I think rereading the next few books, because I haven't really read those, ne I, I haven't really gone and reread those la next few books. It's the last two that I've reread over and over and over, over again. You should have seen my last Olympian book before I decided mm -hmm. to paint it over again. It looks like it's like a million years old. And my Titan's Curse books book looks like it's brand new, straight out of the box. You can tell which one I haven't read most yet. So this chapter is We Hail the Taxi of Eternal Torment. I Number feel like three. I've been on a taxi like this before. You've been on a taxi? Okay, Uber, does that count? Yeah, Uber of Eternal Torment. That's what it would be now. Just saying. By the way, I just wanted to say that Uber is a, basically a reverse kidnapping. And you pay somebody to <laughs> kidnap you, basically. Hoping, then that, hoping that they're going to take you back to your house or yes. wherever. Yeah. Just be careful. Make sure you look at the license plate. Make sure you have the app. Yeah. Make sure the license plate matches with what's on your phone. Just saying. Mm -hmm. Just a little public safety announcement. PSA yeah. up in here. Because mm -hmm. I'm a mama like that. So anyway. So Annabeth is really, really mean in this chapter, yeah. I will say. Annabeth getting on my nerves, girl. Yeah. Mm. Tyson is so sweet. He is, though. Like, really. And I love so, so I'm getting the feeling that... Purse doesn't realize that Tyson is special no because doubt. he's like your hands aren't burnt like you need to relax your hands should be burning from the fireball <laughs> you need to relax right <laughs> yeah um and Annabeth is really disgusted by Tyson she's like where point. did you find him I'm surprised that Annabeth doesn't call Tyson it he call she still calls him he but I'm surprised that um she doesn't call him it or that I would like slap her if she did because yeah. he is so sweet he's, and like he's, he's like you're awesome. so pretty Annabeth and she's just like yeah he's so sweet I just yeah. love him I wanted him to just like I want to be a stepmom like I just want to bring him in and feed him yeah. buy him clothes you know yeah give him a hug mm. Percy's like I just got attacked by cannibal giants and this dude done saved my life yeah and you're still being rude yeah you're being an Anna beach yeah. Annabeth <laughs> And he's like, he's my friend. And she's like, is he homeless? Like, who cares? Who cares, Annabeth? He saved my life. Who cares, Annabeth? You were homeless when you were seven. Mm. You were homeless with two other homeless mic drop. kids. Mic drop. <laughs> I just done dropped a mic. Mic drop. There you go. That's all we gotta say. Yeah, Annabeth, you done. were homeless too. So That's it. Chapter like. over. Chapter over. Episode over. We're done. <laughs> um, yeah. She looks surprised. He can talk. Yeah. She's like really, really. She is like, very rude in these chapters. She's kind of snooty, I think. Yeah. Like I didn't take her as being snooty, yeah. but I feel like she's like. Like super, something's gotten into her. Yeah. Like her britches are too big for her. Yeah. Now. She's wearing Tyson's <laughs> pants. Even Percy says, "I couldn't believe she was being so rude." Yeah. Oh. I, don't I know, right? They like. Maybe she was hanging out with uh, Clarabelle. Clarice. Over the summer. My mom is dying. I says. 
Uh, Clarice, yeah, maybe. Whatever. It's, it wasn't the summer, it was the school year. Oh, yeah, an entire nine months. That's a long an time. An entire nine months. No, she went back to Virginia, remember? You are who you hang out with. Oh, Just my. saying. Oh, I, I hate to know what those girls in and West School were like. Mm. Oh, God. Apparently not very nice. Yeah, apparently. Um... So yeah, they finally meet up. They're running down and I, I, okay, one a more New York I street. Tyson is like trying to like touch Annabeth's hair. Like, oh, blonde hair. Blonde hair. And she's like, ah, but stop touching me. can't stop touching me. Yeah. Oh, I hope that didn't mess up the microphone. And he's like, you pretty. You're pretty. And she's just like, disgusting. Oh, poor, poor Tyson. Someone's being racist. Ugh. Yes. So anyway... So apparently they were Lestrogians. Lestrogon. Les, le, uh, uh, Lestrogonians. Spelling word of yep. the day. If you mm -hmm. can spell it, please type it in the chat below without mm -hmm. looking it up. We yeah. will know if you're cheated or not. We, we will okay. know. We, Mama knows. Mama always mom knows. knows. I got eyes in all sides of my head. We will. We will pin you as the top comment if you can spell it right without. Sell it, say it up. again. Lester, Lester go late or Lestergonians. That's how. Lestergonians. Lestergonians. There we Sounds go. Sounds like a Italian pasta. It does. I want. I want pasta right now. <laughs> By the way, has anyone seen Luca? It was a really good movie. It's very, I saw very it cute. Bit. Very cute. I liked it. My friend almost cried. Aww. Who? Reese. Aww. We watched it one night. I fell asleep before she could finish it. Aww. Anyway, so she thought about it for a moment, and she's like, Canadian? So Annabeth thinks that it's Canadian. So per Canadians. Percy's just like, okay, so what's the street name? She's like, Canadians? <laughs> <laughs> if you're Canadian and you're watching this, um, yeah, I'm sorry. My brother watches a lot of Canadian YouTubers. Oh, he loves it. Like, he wants to live there one day. Yeah, my brother loves Canada. But back to the book. Annabeth yeah, asks book. Percy, have you been dreaming lately? And she, and he's just like, yeah, about Grover. And she's like, Grover? <gasps> Why? What? What happened to Grover? And he's just like, wait, you haven't been dreaming about Grover? Yeah. And then she's like, big trouble at camp. Yeah. And he's just like, what have you been dreaming about? Yeah. What do you think she's been dreaming about? About him. <laughs> about, about Percy or about... Luke. <laughs> yeah, who do you think she's been dreaming about? I hope she doesn't dream about Luke. I Luke's really a bad dude. Yeah. I Luke really is hope. no good for you, honey. Also, he's no like good. way older. He's like seven years older than you. Too old. Too old for you. He's an old man. He got gray hair. <laughs> I think he's actually an adult at this point in this Gray hairs, Annabeth. I think at this point he's in a, he's he's twenty in this book I think because like last week he was nineteen. Wow, really? Yes. And she's still like twelve, thirteen. She's thirteen, yeah. Oh, honey. Oh, honey, no. Uh, so anyway, anyway, her face turns pale whenever he he says mentions it, Grover. Yes, and um, um, he's like, my mom was saying the same thing, but what kind of trouble is Camp? And he, out? she's just like, uh, I'm I'm not sure, but something is wrong, and he's just like. And how do you know something's wrong at camp? Have you been to, at camp? And she's just like, maybe. <laughs> Tyson raises his hand like he's still in class. He's like, teachers. I think I teachers. wrote that in one of my books one time. He's like, Canadian in gym called Percy something, son of sea god. Yeah. Oof. My heart. Boom, boom. boom. My, heart, my heart goes out to him. Tyson, Tyson, this is for you. My heart goes and out to him. Annabeth and him exchange looks like... Like, oh, we have to tell him. So, they didn't even know how to explain it. He calls him big guy. That's kind of sweet. Yeah. I feel like Percy's like a dad to Tyson. Yeah. Because I feel like a dad would call a kid big guy. Yeah. Hey, big guy. I have a character. One of, okay, so there's this one character, and he's like, he's like, what, 16? And there's another character, and he's like, 18? And the 18-year-old calls the 16-year-old kid. Another PSA uh, announcement. If you have a daughter, please do not call her big girl. It's just not the same. It's not. It really isn't. That could totally do damage to her. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Big guy is different. Please yeah. do not call a female big girl. Like, you might get punched in the nose. Yeah. Also, if you... Even if she's also, tiny. Also, how you call, like, a guy man, don't call a girl woman. Oh, oh don't please Don't do that. Do. Please don't. call me woman when you see me. Oh. oh, I wish somebody would. Ooh, that would be, ooh. Mm. 
pictures. Don't put that on YouTube. Anyway. Yeah, so, <laughs> so, um, anyway. Um, so, anyway, so they finally tell Tyson, and they're mm-hmm. like, Annabeth and I are half bloods. Uh, we're like heroes in training, and whenever monsters pick up our scent, they attack us. That's why those giants in the gym weren't. Uh, that's why. That's what the, those giants in, were in the gym. Monsters. And then Tyson goes, Yes. yes. <laughs> Just, yes. Like period. he knows. Yeah. yeah. He's like, Yeah, bro. I got you. And Percy goes, right Wait, so you believe me? And Tyson goes, But you are a son of the sea god? And Percy goes, Yeah, I admitted my dad's Poseidon. Tyson frowned. Now he looked confused. But then, <laughs> dot dot dot, dun dun dun. What do you think this is implying? Hmm. <laughs> He's like, what, Tyson? And then the like sirens interrupt. And Annabeth <laughs> wants to leave him. Staring contest. <laughs> Annabeth's like, let's go. We got to go. We got to get to camp. And, and Percy just like. How? We can't, we can't just leave Tyson. Like, how yeah. are we? And Annabeth, like, really wants to leave him. She's just like, we have to go. Pretty. Now. 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 Yes. So, anyway, um, she's acting like Tyson's a big disease, mm-hmm. basically, is what she's acting like. So, Annabeth stops at the corner of a street, and she is fishing for her, through her backpack. Like, she's looking for something. And then um, he realizes her chin's cut. Mm-hmm. Um, when she like leaves and like twigs and like grass, hair. yeah. In her hair, like she's been on, like she's been on the run. Yes. Oh my god, she it's bad. She people like um, people never forget old habits. I think Annabeth ran away again. Anna, come on, girl. Annie. Oh. She so then finally, that. she's like, found it. And it's a drachma. It's a, it's, it's a drachma. A what? single drachma. That ain't getting you very far. Mm-mm. Unless you want to iris message someone. Annabeth, I swear to God, if you iris message look, I'm going to punch you in the face. And then she, <laughs> like, shouts some Greek words. Shouts some Greek. Um, she said, stop, chariot of damnation. And then she throws it onto the street. Hmm. Hmm. And then the, the asphalt starts to bubble and pop. And then a... And then... A gray taxi rises out of the mush. <laughs> <laughs> I want that to happen. Uh, to me. But it was like any other taxi. Mm-hmm. It wasn't like any of the New York taxis because it had three ladies that didn't also, have no it, eyeballs. It wasn't yellow. It was um, it was gray and looked like it was made out of um, zero eyeballs. <laughs> what? And looked like it was made of like <laughs> like um, what was it? Smoke, like gray smoke. But they got in and then. Um, there was this one scene that I, there was this one scene from the, from the movie that I loved where all the three ladies go, um, no credit card, no credit cards, um, oh, yeah. no credit cards, debit cards, cash, drachmas only, exact change, please. Yes. And, uh, that doesn't happen. Well, uh, the girl go, the lady, <laughs> the girl, the lady goes, passage, Passage. Yeah, so then they get their, they, like, the... They get in the cab. The cab, they're like, three well, then, to Camp half blood. Yeah, and then they're, and then one of the ladies is like, yeah, we don't take, uh, his kind. And then she points at Tyson. <gasps> Rude. Why is everyone so racist? Or, like, what was what, it? What like, was pick it? on the big kid what? and ugly kid day? <laughs> big and ugly kid day. That's well, what, well, that was what they said. Yeah. I didn't say that. I uh, think, I'm pretty sure he was cute, no matter yeah. what he looked like, just because he's so sweet. Um... Honestly, wait, what, what are they? They're not being racist. They're being, like, prejudiced, right? Prejudiced, prejudiced. yes. That's very much being. so. Can you, that's can, not can you please tell me the difference? Because I don't know. Prejudiced is where, like, they don't like somebody because they are not the same, like, race, religion, color of skin. It's kind of the same thing. Uh-huh. Kind of, it's just a different way of saying it. Yes, that's so correct. So we don't get demonetized? I don't know. I'm not sure. Why would we get demonetized? I, I'm not sure. For saying racist or racism. I'm not sure. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, they're being prejudiced towards Tyson, and everyone is right now, except I think for prejudice, Percy. Prejudice, yes, because it's not a race. It's a. Yeah, it's um like. Same thing, what but would it be? not just based on his skin color. Yeah. Um, anyway, so they're, everyone's being prejudiced towards Tyson. They're being really mean right now. 
Uh, except for except Percy. For Percy. Percy. Except for Percy and Sally. Yeah. Because so the, they love him. Yeah. The inside of this taxi cab was smoky gray, and it felt solid. Mm -hmm. The seats were cracked and lumpy, um, no different than most taxis. There was no plexiglass screen. I think that that would be police cars, though. Yeah. Not necessarily... A taxi cab. Yeah, it wouldn't be a taxi cab. That would be police cars. Yeah. Percy, have you been in the back of a police... Wait, has it been in the back of a police car? I don't think so. I'm not sure. Wait, what I don't what, remember what, didn't reading he, didn't specifically. did he get in the back of a police car during the lightning thief? Like, no? Mm -mm. Hmm. I wonder if Percy's actually been in the back of a police car. Yeah, how, how do you know about plexiglass, <laughs> Percy? <laughs> <laughs> I've never even seen that up close and personal. Me neither. I wonder if Percy's done time. Hmm. Rick, what, what kind of characters do you have, Rick? <laughs> well, oh, you he, got my well, kiddos reading well, he, these. He did, he, well, he did mention magic mushrooms. How do you think he knows about that? Hmm. <laughs> Anyhow, the one driving Long Island out of Metro Fair bonus. What? I don't know what that is. I don't know. I just Oh, the read. one driving said, Long Island, out of Metro Fair bonus. Ha. 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 Wait, wait, wait. No, no. Laugh, laugh. Do the laugh. Uh-huh. <laughs> 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 I'm going to turn that into a sound effect it's someday. A it's not. I'm going to turn that into a sound effect someday. <laughs> that's how Luke laughs. Yeah. If you haven't seen our live stream episode that's like an hour long, that's how Luke laughs. I thought he had bronchitis. But no, yep. they had a joke, and I was that like, was a oh. joke. <laughs> oh. So anyway, anyway, she floors the accelerator, um, and Percy's head slams against the back seat. Yeah, like, they have really, really hard names. Yeah, uh, seriously, the three. Sisters. Uh, and then, okay, one of the only things that they got right in the movie was this one Sorry. line: "Hi, this is Ganymede, cupbearer to Zeus." And when I'm out buying wine for the Lord of the Skies, I always buck I always remember to buckle up. Buckle up, buttercup. And then Percy goes Percy looks down and he's just like, This is a chain. Sorry, Gigi nope. wants to be here, I apologize. This is a chain. I refuse to buckle up with a chain and then he just says not buckle up. Mm -hmm. Um So the so cat speeds away. Uh-huh. And the sisters are fighting. And one of the and the driver goes uh, dr the driver, like, just yells, Give me the eye! <laughs> give me the eye. Um, and then Percy's just like, wait, give her the eye? One's called Anger. One's called Tempest, and the other is called Wasp. Yeah. So Wasp is the one driving. Tempest yes. is the one on in the passenger seat, and Anger is the one in the middle, right? I believe. Yes. It's me, Bell and Reese. Yes. And Percy realizes that they're blind. He's yeah. like, they're blind! And Annabeth's like, not completely. Not completely. They, they have, have an, an eye. eye. They have one eye that they share amongst all three of them. They also have... Like this. Just they, one. They also only have... Well, not... Yeah. They also only have one <laughs> tooth that they share amongst... <laughs> TG, I'm sorry. They also <laughs> only have one tooth that they share amongst the three of them. Oh, that's good for chewing stuff. No. Like, they chew it up... <laughs> They take it out of their mouth and then give it to the sister. That's disgusting. Well, at least they like to share. That's I sweet. don't think they like to share. I think they have to. So Tyson's even feeling like a little bit scared on this ride. He's like, whoa. Yeah. Right? Seems so anyway, scared. the three gray ladies, are they're sitting there fighting while they're driving. Mm -hmm. um, and by the way, do not fight and drive. No. Or text and or drive. Or drink and drive. Yes, thank you. <laughs> or drink and drive. So, anyway, so now they're fighting drinking. over the tooth. So now they're fighting, they're fighting over the tooth. So, okay, so here's like what slapping happens. slapping each other. So here's fighting. what happens. Tempest wants the tooth, and Tempest has the tooth, but Wasp has the tooth, and Tempest wants the eye, but, but, no, Wasp wants the eye, but Tempest has the eye. Yeah. And anger's in the middle of this. Mm -hmm. I'd probably be the one. I'd probably be anger, honestly. I would just want to get to my destination safely. Yeah. So I would take the dang eye if I needed to, mm -hmm. and put it in my eye for them. Now, do you have to forcibly take one of the eyes? Yes. Just rip it out of the eye socket. So finally, anger yanks the the tooth. From um, her sister Wasp's mouth. Yeah. Which made Wasp so mad that she swerved toward the edge of, of the Williams the Williamsburg Bridge. Yes. By the way, that's going to come back later. <laughs> the Williamsburg Bridge is going to come back later. 
I'm not going to tell you when, but it's going to come back later. So I have the book on my Kindle, by mm -hmm. the way, which is on my iPad. So mm -hmm. that's why yeah. y'all always see me with my iPad. Uh -huh. Anyways, so... Um, I'm just pulling out from memory mm -hmm. and reading off of her iPad. I'm old. I forget. So... Um, I forget stuff, too. They're sitting there whacking each other. Um, the slimy green orb... There's a slimy, slimy green orb, and it pops out of Tempest's eye. And it, it goes over her shoulder onto the back seat and straight into Percy's lap. Disgusting. Like, do you pick up an eyeball? What would you do? I just... Ew. I don't I know just, if I could pick up somebody else's eyeball. Honestly, I'd probably be, like... I don't know if I have the stomach for that. F this, I'm picking... F this, I'm, like, gonna pick it up gently... And then give it to the person. Then give it to the driver. Like the driver should have the eye, because yeah, they're the I just one don't know driving. If I'd have the, the stomach for that. I probably would, honestly. Ooh. He says he jumped so hard that his head hit the ceiling, oh, like when it landed in honestly, his lap. Honestly, remember that one time we were on a road trip in the RV, mm -hmm. and we were on the bed. Oh in the yeah, back, yeah. And it, we were like something happened. We hit a bump. We, we hit a bump. And we both jumped up. We were we were taking bed. a nap. Yeah. Yeah. That was fun. That was fun. <laughs> we were watching The Lion King, I think. Yeah. Um, anyway, that's why you should child. always be in a seatbelt. Yeah. She was in a seatbelt in the bed. Uh-huh. Wait. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. Anyway. And then, uh, Wasp is just like, give me the eye! Annabeth, give me the, give her the eye, Percy! I don't have the eye! <laughs> and it's by Percy's foot. So he takes... He rips his... You Can you imagine, like, stepping on it and squishing it and the eye guts go Ew! Like <laughs> I want to... Okay, later I'm going to have to look up what squished eye looks like. Ew. No, <laughs> and now I want to know! Disgusting. You put that image in my head and now I want to know what a squished eye looks like. Tyson, bless his heart, is like, I'm going to be sick. I'm going like, to be this sick. Is so so first she's like, Annabeth, hand Tyson your back. She's just like, no way! Yeah. Annabeth, what do you have in there? You're... Kevin and napkins. So honestly, I think I think Annabeth is on her period right now. So he ripped off a chunk of his tie dye shirt, Percy, which Percy was already did. falling apart, probably because of all the burn marks from yeah. the the fight that they had. I'm not sure. And if I'm, I'm, not sure if, I'm not sure if I have the strength to rip my own shirt. <laughs> yeah, but if there's holes already in it, uh, and you don't want to touch an eyeball, I bet you your adrenaline would like make you yeah. do like anything to not bleh. touch that eye. Yes. Touch that! Ah, oh, it sounds like a game show. Yes, like an it in not an eighties to nineties game show. So Annabeth is like, Percy, they can't find our destination without the eyeball. Give them the eye now. And if they don't find the destination, then they're just going to keep going until they blast into a thousand things. Mm -hmm. And Percy's like, I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to give you the eyeball until you tell me about the prophecy or about my dream, right? No, it was um. One of the sisters said, uh, we know a lot of things. No, because Annabeth said, Percy, they're really very wise. And then one of them goes, yeah, we know a lot of things. We know about, like, your future. We know other things. And Percy's like, my future. And then they got into an argument over uh, how, like, Percy didn't ask. And now Percy's asking. He goes, I I'll give you the eye if you tell me my future. <coughs> Percy, if you want to know your future, just go to, just go to a fortune teller. <laughs> Or to a Hecate, or, or to a Hecate kid. Not sure if they can tell you the future, though. So the Grey sisters scream, 30, 31, 75, 12! And Percy's like, all I got were numbers! Yeah, that makes no sense. That makes no sense. 30, 31, 75, 12! Okay, whenever I'm unlocking my locker for gym, that's all I think about. Really? It's just 30, 31, 75, 12. Anger's like, that's all we can tell you. Almost to camp! Now yeah. give us the eye. And Percy's so, like, yeah, Ick, give yeet. him the eye now. Annabeth is like yelling. Mm -hmm. So finally, and he throws Ty it. Tyson's throwing up in Annabeth's backpack, probably. Poor Tyson. Oh, oh, Tyson he's been yeah. through a lot today. Mm -hmm. They've all Tyson been through a lot today. A huge belch. Oh, I wonder if he threw up in his mouth. That's disgusting. <laughs> My breakfast tasted fine on the way up. Oh. My breakfast tasted fine once. I don't want to taste it again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So finally they get to Camp Half-Blood. Mm -hmm. Half-Blood Hill, actually. Yeah, they get um, to Half-Blood Hill, and then they look up at... They look up 
and I see a group of campers being attacked, and that's the end of chapter three. Whoa, like what? Chapter four is called Tyson Plays with Fire, and, um, and, uh, so we, so, uh, word vomit. Anyway, um, they're being, they're, the campers are being attacked by bulls, two bronze bulls, um, and... They were not, they weren't regular bulls, they were two bronze bulls the size of elephants, and not even that was bad enough. Naturally, they had to breathe fire, too. Wow. Fire breathing, fire breathing bronze, bronze bulls. The size of elephants. In the movie, it was only one bull. Run! Ma That's all I would say. Just run! Can I find, like, somewhere to hide? I don't Imagine know. if you were, like, a self-insert in this, like, you were a separate character. Yeah, no. And I would like, be, like, four or five right now. Mm -hmm. I'd be wherever Grover is, because I'm pretty sure Grover <laughs> is, like, missing it all right now. Oh, definitely. Remember he, he didn't he, smell he no in monsters. He's, He's in, in Florida. Florida. Oh, yeah. I'm with Grover. He's a Florida man. <laughs> um, I'm going to handle it just like Grover would. And miss the entire I'd thing. probably just run up half foot hill and then run back down the hill. Or no, I'd tuck and roll down the hill. I'd stay behind Clarice. I'd also stay behind Because she's like a linebacker. <laughs> She'd probably just like go head on with them bad boys. She'd like... She, 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 mm -hmm. She'd like... She'd charge at the bulls. Mm. 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 So anyway, there were ten. There were ten people in battle armor who were getting their bronze plated booties whooped. And somebody's and like, "Border Patrol to me!" And it's Clarice. Yes, it's it's the it's our own house linebacker, Clarice. Yeah. They're like, wait, I thought Camp didn't have a border patrol. And it's just like, um, normally, norm normally it doesn't. Mm. But right now, it needs to have a border patrol. <laughs> Uh, because of something that we're going to find out at the end of the chapter. Mm-hmm. So, um, Percy and Clarabelle... Clarice. Oh, whatever. Her dad is Aries, and Percy yeah. and Aries had, like, a little beef last summer. A, a little beef? They said they, they said L.A. on fire. <laughs> a little beef. A little teeny tiny quarrel. They had a fight. They had a huge fight on... What was it? Santa Monica Beach? I don't know. That's it was some, some beach in L.A. Yeah, it's all... Mm. And L.A. Tomato, was on fire! Tomato, tomato, beefy potato. F I don't... L.A. Effing L.A. was on fire! Anyway, but he's like, still, she's in trouble. She's my fellow demigod she's, sister. She's my friend. Trying to force a smile on my friend. I have to help. I'm like, purse. She don't like you, bro. She had to shove your head into a toilet last year. <laughs> Not a smelly toilet. Mm. In the mm. girl's bathroom. Mm. That's already crime amongst itself. Percy going into the girl's bathroom. So anyway, that's a crime amongst they itself. come up. Clarice's armor's charred. Mm -hmm. That's no bueno. Mm -mm. That means she's getting lit up. <laughs> she's getting lit. Like, like literally yeah. lit up, okay? And she's uh, gonna go, ah, Percy ah, uncaps ah. his ballpoint <laughs> pen. Yeah. So you know is the real it's deal right now. Things are getting serious now. Oh yeah. If I have to take out my pen. By the way, I just wanted to ask, if you could have any magical weapon and it could turn into like anything, what would you want? Like if you could have something, uh, if you could have something like Riptide, what would you have? Like if you could have. It'd probably be earrings. Oh. It'd probably, because you know how I wear earrings like mm -hmm. every day and I love earrings? Mm -hmm. It would probably be like earrings that turn into like blades. Ooh. Didn't you say that one time whenever I asked you this in the car, you were just like a hair tie that could like grow and shrink in the line? Yes, and I always have a hair yeah. tie on my wrist. Yeah. So it would either be earrings or a hair tie. And it would like blend in with your bracelet. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then like I can choke people rip oh. off their heads. I like that. Uh, I'd actually want a, it'd be, it'd be like a Swiss army knife. Anyone who's read the Heroes of Olympus knows about Jason's, like, coin, and it, when he flips it, it can turn into whatever is on that one side. It's like that, but it's a Swiss army knife, and it works like a normal Swiss army knife, but if you press one of the buttons on any of, like, there, there's, like, three gadgets on it it's um it's like a knife it's a sc it's a knife a screwdriver and a like the normal thing oh yeah arm. it's the normal things on a swiss army knife a knife a screwdriver and a pair of si uh, like some scissors yeah 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 
but each of them have like Greek engravings on it. One of them turns into a scythe, one turns Ooh. one turns into a sword, and the other turns into a spear. Ooh, you're ready and, for like a full out war. Yeah, and I can you can only use one you can only use one of them at a time, and uh, you can only use one of them at a time, and if you, and it'll turn into a Swiss Army knife. Mm. I like it. Yeah. So oh, he lying. has his. Pen. Percy has his pen. I have my Swiss Army knife. My mom has her earrings slash um, uh, bracelet. <laughs> anyway, uh, Percy uncaps his pen, turns into Anacolosmus. Um, and he's like, Tyson, stay here. Really? Tyson, stay here. Tyson done saved your life, bruh. I'd yeah. be like, Tyson, come on, I need you to have my back. Tyson, I need you in front of me. <laughs> yes, like immediately now. Tyson, right. I need you in front of me. Now. And Annabeth's like, no, we need him. I what? need I need you as my meat shield. That is the first time that I've heard Annabeth say something nice about Tyson. Talk about mood swings. And that's because she wants him to get killed before her. Yeah. Talk about mood swings. She's rude. definitely on her period. So rude. That's still my head cannon right now. That's why. I... Also, well, she is like a pubescent teen girl. Yeah. Like emotions. So they're saying that, that those mentioned. bulls are made by Hephaestus himself. Yeah, and they can't fight them without um, um, Medea's sunscreen SPF five fifty thousand SPF SPF fifty thousand. Jeez, weird. Otherwise, <laughs> they'll get burned to a crisp. Yeah, and then Annabeth is just like, oh, <laughs> and Anna Burp. Excuse me. Anna Burp is just like, uh, I thought I had some like coconut scent. A jar of coconut scent on my nightstand. Why didn't I bring it with me? Oh gosh, me? wow. Coconut to just have 50,000 proof in your purse. Can you imagine? <laughs> I mean, I carry some stuff in my purse, but... Not 50,000. No. So anyway, so... Coconut scent. <laughs> yeah. So Tyson tries to protest, and yeah. he wants to come. He's like, let me in. He's yeah. like, Percy, I want to... Hell. Yes, yes, you. yes. So, unfortunately, Cl Clarice could only get six campers, and the other four were still running around. Like, because their, their, feather, their, their, feather, their feather plumes were on fire. Literally on fire. <laughs> their head was on fire. Their head was on fire, literally. So, but um, the bull was moving so, so fast, and Clarice was trying to tell the warriors to hold the line. Yeah, so they got into like a, they got into, wait, this is a phalanx right now, or? Yes. They, so they got into a phalanx, which is where you, where, is where like, they stand in a line, and they, Aren't like, gonna let him they're, go they're, past Yeah, them. they're not gonna let them go past. They put their shields together, and they create a wall. It's basically walling, but with a fancier name. It's, yeah. Yeah. I think it's a real war tactic. Oh, we used to play Red Rover, Red Rover. Do you remember? Did you, do y'all play that? I don't think so. It's where you would lock arms like this, look, like this, mm -hmm. and or like this somehow, and then the people would try to run through your arms. Ah! And you would go Red Rover, Red Rover, let Mila come over, and then you would run with all your might, oh. and then you would have to break oh. through. Yeah, yeah. It was fun. You <laughs> always any, wanted to break through. Did anyone? You, did anyone break their arms? Oh no. No, sadly no. No. So you always wanted to get through. But you wanted to get through, so you wanted to push as hard as you oh could. God. So if you broke somebody's arm, it was fair game. <laughs> it was fair game if you broke somebody's arm. Yeah. So that was like, because that's what happens when you grow up in the hood, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so anyway, anyway that, that's, it's. But maybe, it's, I mean, I don't know if somebody broke their arm or not. That wasn't my problem. <laughs> wasn't your problem. I was just trying to break through. So. What if you bro broke someone's arm? I'm just trying to break through. I mean, we were all playing the same game. You wanted to play, too. <laughs> you wanted to play. I'd be like, you better tell your mommy it was your idea. <laughs> Don't be bringing me up. Which, there are two lines of people, right? We had, like, however many people we had. Like, say mm -hmm. there was ten people playing, so you so can five, go through, five, you five, can go through would, any of them. Five would go on one side, five would go on the other? Yeah, but, who, uh, oh. like, whoever would line up. Oh. And then, so, you, of course, you always pick the weakest link. <laughs> wow. You're like, ooh, I know they're weak. I'm going through there. <laughs> That's sad. I know, right? But it's anyway, it um, really happened. Let's, let's keep going. It was called Red Rover. Um, anyway, so uh, so the bull charge passes Clarice, mm -hmm. and um, well, bull, bull number one, because remember there's two. Yeah. So um, Percy lunges forward and saves Clarice, of mm -hmm. course. Saves her butt. And he drags her out of the way, just as bull number two, two. 
freight trains pass. Yeah. Oopsie. Mm. Apparently their Red Rover is not working. So, um, but <laughs> Percy gets in a good little swing with Riptide, and, mm-hmm. and he cuts a huge gas in the flank. Gas. Gash. Not gas. He cuts a gas. Somebody and had then, gas. And then it starts... There's fire coming out of air alert. Yeah, mind. and then it starts, like, farting fire, basically. <laughs> And then Chloe's is just like, let me go! Percy, curse you! Annabeth is over here shouting orders to the other heroes. Oh, Annabeth. Uh, the four that are on fire, Annabeth. I, honestly, they just need to stop, drop, and roll. I know. They just need to stop, drop, just take and off roll. your helmet. It's take not off working. your helmet. Just stop, you. drop, and roll. Go put your head in water. <laughs> go put your head in some water. So, oh, remember, they're all around trees, so they're going to start a forest fire oh, sooner or Lord. later. Good Lord. Just take off the helmet. Put them in a pile. Put them in a pile. So bull number one is coming back around now. Uh-huh. And bull number <laughs> kids two in a pile. turns to face Percy. <laughs> yeah. Right? So mm-hmm. somebody's going down. Like, it's going down. Somebody's it's about to yell down. timber. It's going down. I'm yelling timber. Percy, Percy you better move. So he's you like, I can't. Dance. He's thinking to himself. Like, he's he's freaking out a little bit, I think. Why? You don't have time to think. A bull's about to charge at well, you. Well, he's like, both bulls are about to come at him. And he's yeah. like, I <sighs> cannot fight both of these bulls at the same time. Percy, here's what you do. You know, hand, you do like a handspring over one of the bulls. You get on top of one, and you start busting that bronco. Right. <laughs> right? Oh, wait, no. Percy doesn't do gymnastics. Yeah, or bull riding. <laughs> or bull riding. I Not bet. very much bull riding in New York, I would imagine. Mm. That's here in Texas. Yeah. That's all we do is ride horses around here. No. And we go yonder and, and then we ponder back and then we, we say y'all. We say y'all. We say y'all. And giddy up and hee haw. We wear those five, ten gallon hats all the time. Yes, we do. I got three of them right up there. Yep. Right next to my cowboy boots. Yep. Underneath the Louis Vuitton boxes. <laughs> <laughs> That's a true story. But anyway. <laughs> true story. Um, and, 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 and anyway. Guns. <laughs> and we got a lot of guns. A lot of guns. <laughs> anyway. but that's a true story, too. That's a true story. Anyway. So uh, he anyway. lunges at bull number two. Uh-huh. Which is like... And the bull here. blows flames at him. Mm-hmm. And Percy's about to become a uh, chicken nugget. Or Jack Percy. Shish kebab. Percy. Per, per, Percy kebab. Percy kebab. No, Percy kebab. Percy kebab. Percy kebab. His foot gets caught on something, of course, because oh, it's always ah. like last minute for Percy, yeah. I feel like. His his life is almost his, like uh, his every life, time. He, he, he trips over a root and like his ankle is between like sprained and then broken. I feel like it's always like oh. by the skin of his teeth that kid gets by. Yeah. Uh, but before he could feel too good about like barely making it through, mm-hmm. he tries to stand and he buckles because he uh-huh. realizes that he's really hurt himself. He's yeah. <laughs> His ankle was sprained, maybe broken. Maybe maybe broken. Oh. Um, and um, then uh, here comes bull number one, back then, down <laughs> right at him. Come on, not Percy. giving it. Just bust that bronco. I bet one of these kids got to be from Texas, so they can bust a Bronco. And Annabeth is like, Tyson! Ha-. Maybe it's Tyson, because he's so sweet. Because they say that, like, we have Southern charm. Like, we have Southern hospitality. Like, we're sweet here mm-hmm. in the South. Maybe it's Tyson, because he's so yeah. sweet. Maybe maybe Tyson's from the South. I believe that, honestly. Yeah. yeah I, believe, I believe that. We're homeless, too, so. We're homeless, too. <laughs> <laughs> ah. I mean, go to Austin. That's sad. <laughs> Sad. There's homeless people here. Yeah, there is. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, Austin, there's a lot. But anyway, anyway, um, bowl number one uh, goes uh, straight straight toward him, right? Yeah, and yeah. at this point, Annabeth is now now she's talking to Tyson. Yeah, now like get, she she was getting the silent treatment for so long, and now she's give she's like talking to him for real. And Tyson's like can't get through. He's just like. Mm-hmm. And she's like, I, Annabeth Chase, give you permission to enter camp. And, and then th- yeah. Thunder shook the hillside, and then Tyson was there, b- barreling towards Percy, yelling, Percy needs help. Oh, I love him. Texas punch. And just before Percy can tell him no, in Tyson com- dives the comments, between them. In the comments, say where that, where that reference is from. Texas fist. <laughs> Anyone who knows that reference will get a personal smile from me in the next episode. <laughs> Ooh. All right, all right. So he again um, saves Percy's life. Mm-hmm. 
and the blast swirls around him like a red tornado. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And Percy can only see a black silhouette. Oh, God. Tyson. No. Poor Tyson. Poor <gasps> Tyson. But he was my friend. But when the fire died, Tyson was still standing. Mm-hmm. And they're like, okay, what is going um, on right what? now? He's unharmed. Nothing on him. Yeah, nothing. No Not barbecue. At all. No barbecue smell. He doesn't smell. It's like, it's like, um. Meshach. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Yeah, yeah. From that one Bible story. Yes. Whenever they got put into the furnace, not even a barbecue scent was mm-hmm. on them. They didn't even smell like chicken. Mm-mm. Nothing. That's sad. They came out like, hey, y'all, hey, 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 hey. Anyway, and they were literally like, should have been burned to a crisp. There was a fourth the person The minute there. they walked in. It Duh, it was God. Yeah. Anyway. His fist made a crater, and the bronze bull's snout, where the bronze bull's snout used to be, two small columns of flame shot out of its ears, and Tyson hit it again. Boom! And the bronze crumbled as, under his hands like aluminum foil. Oh, my God. Tyson, you strong, so, bruh. So, God's... He is so strong. Tyson's very strong. Oh, okay. No, sorry. I had to do that because they were um, sitting on our oh. backdrop over here. Oh. One of the pug's butts. Schisma. Uh, and Tyson tells him, bad cow. Bad cow. Bad oh. cow. He's so sweet. Like a toddler. Bad cow. So the bull staggers. Best mm-hmm. move. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I've seen some of my uncles walk like that after oh, God. a party or two. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, True story. I'm going to pray for them. Uh, I keep them in my bird. Uh, anyways. Anyway. Um, and uh, then it falls onto its back. Yeah. I haven't seen my uncle do that. <laughs> I love you, though. I'm, we, we, we still we still tight. We still tight. Anyways. Um, I'm just saying lay off the shot. Lay off the shot. All right. So then R- Annabeth runs over to check on Percy, right? Why didn't she go run and check on Tyson? Um, Rude. Yeah. He done saved your life. And a beach. Mm. Mm. And he says that his ankle feels like it was filled with acid. Oh, Ouch. God. Ow. How do you know what acid feels like? Wait, so oh, oh, I forgot. The, the chimera. He knows what acid feels like. Yeah, there we go. What? Um, remember the... I was about to ask how does person know what acid feels like, but then again, like, I remembered the chimera. Okay, you look so... <laughs> Pill with you that dark too. lipstick. You you can't talk. You look pale too. <laughs> but you look like extra pale with that dark lipstick on. I know we're light skinned, but you look like real white right now. You look wow. so pale right I'm now. like, is that a ghost? Oh no, that's me. All right, cool. So, that is ghost queen. <laughs> so Clarice pulls off her helmet and marches toward them. And a strand of her stringy brown hair. Um, so this is after the um, was the was on fire. It was like it was like, sh- like she was smoldering, <laughs> and not like the rock smolders, ah. not like the rock smoldering. I think that's funny. That's hilarious. So, but she said she didn't seem to notice. Like she was like, whatever. Like my hair's on fire. She's too. like, you ruined everything. I had it under control. She was probably gonna shave off her hair anyway because she's like a man. Oh she probably God. likes it short and sweet. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just by like I was gonna go shave my head anyway tonight. <laughs> and Annabeth is just like, good to see you too, Clarice. Yes, yes, yes. And she yells, "I had it under control." I already said that. Oh. And then per- and then Clarice goes, "Oh, ah, uh, <sighs> don't you ever try to save me again." All right, girl. And then Annabeth goes, "Clarice, you got wounded campers." I would say. You and don't then have Clarice to tell me bolts twice. up. And then Clarice bolts up the hill to go help those campers. I ain't trying to jump in front of a big cow. Because hope. um. Even because even Clarice cared about sol- the soldiers under her command. Wow. What? That's surprising. Oh. Clarice has a heart too. Mm. Everyone has a heart. Mm. We're not, I'm not gonna go and na- don't look at me like that. I'm not gonna name people. So, anyways. Fine. fine so fine. Luke has a heart too. So it's she's like, I'll be back. So, mm. And she, then she, like, Clarice leaves to go and assess the damage. Assess the yeah. damage. <laughs> and Help campers. Percy looks at uh, Tyson and he's like, you didn't die. You're not barbecued. Wow. <laughs> I bet he doesn't know what barbecue is. Can you say thank you? Uh, yeah. Not you didn't die. 
How about you're not barbecued? How come you're not barbecued? And Tyson looks down like he's embarrassed. He's like, I'm sorry. I'm Came sorry. to help, disobeyed you. Oh, I, I love, love Tyson him. so much. I and just want to hug him. I bet he's a cuddler too. Oh, yeah, I bet he is. He's so sweet. And Annabeth's like, buddies. I'm sorry, I had to let him in. Um, Percy, you, have you ever looked at Tyson closely? I yeah. mean, in the face, ignore the mist, and really look at him? And Percy's just like, wait, what do you mean ignore the mist? I knew it, like, it controlled humans' minds, but, like, it can be so powerful, like, it controlled any god's minds. And I remember, like, before he says that he never made it past, like, his chest or mm -hmm. something? Yeah. Because his chest was so hairy. Okay. And then Percy goes, um... I look at Tyson in the face. It wasn't easy. I'd always had trouble looking directly at him, though I never quite understood why. I thought it was because he always had peanut butter in his crooked mm -hmm. teeth. I forced myself to, fo to focus on his big lumpy nose, then a little higher in mm -hmm. his eyes. No, not eyes. One eye. One large calf brown eye right in the middle of his forehead with, a thick, with thick lashes and, a bit, and big tears uh, trickling down his cheeks on either side. Tyson, I stammered, you're a cyclops, Annabeth offered. A baby, but by the looks of him, probably why he couldn't get past the barrier as easy Jeez. as the bulls. Tyson, uh, Tyson's one of the homeless orphans. And then we go in... One of what? <laughs> they're, they're, in all, they're in almost all the big cities, Annabeth said distastefully. They're mistakes, Percy. Children Aww. of nature, spirits, and gods. Well, one god in particular. Usually they don't always turn out right. No one wants them. They get tossed aside. They grow up wild on the streets. I don't know how this one found you, but he obviously likes you. You should take him to Cairo and let's see what he decides to do. How sad. She called him a mistake. <sighs> So at first he had to listen to people be mean all school year. Now and she's now gonna we call have him. Annabeth calling him a mistake. Anna Beach, why? He's a cyclops. Like whoa. Yeah, he's a cyclops. So he's immune to fire. Yeah, basically because they work in the forges, and Annabeth has a problem with. And Percy's like, how have I never realized? Okay, first of all, first men, of all, let me just say, <laughs> I have like 40 years experience. Men often do not pay attention to a lot of things. <laughs> my, okay, so we were looking at an astrology book yesterday, and my dad's a Libra, and I said that they're good listeners. <laughs> and my dad even said that they're good listeners. And um, do you want to give an example of what happened? Yes, I just spit my water up. Um... Basically, we read something to him, and he totally ignored it. <laughs> yeah. Or did or not hear asleep. us. Mm -hmm. And then, like, repeated what we said again, and we were like, we literally just said that. <laughs> yeah, not... Two not, seconds yeah, ago. Men aren't good listeners. But then again, that's coming from two females. But it's true, though. They have selective hearing. They, selective they choose what they want to hear. Yep. Yeah. And then, um, so, yeah... Uh, Clarice came back and then wiped the sun off her forehead. She's like, Jackson, if if you can stand, get up. We need you to carry the wounded back to the big house. Let Tantalus know what happened. Tantalus, he asked. What? The activities director. Chiron? What happened to Chiron? Yeah, what happened to Chiron? Um, and then, and Argus, and Clarice she's like, Argus got fired. You two have been gone for too long. Things are changing. Ooh. She sounds Australian, but I don't really care. She does. She sounds like a big Australian dude. <laughs> oh, crikey. I'm Clarice. I'm sorry for any of the Australian listeners. They're like, whoa, that but Chiron, like, he can't listeners. be gone. Like, he's training kids to for be like, these fighters for, for years. Like, for 3,000 years. Over 3,000 years. And they're he like, can't just be gone. And then Clarice points to Talia's tree. She's like, that happened. Now she sounds like now she sounds like a valley girl. That happened. And every camper knew the story behind the tree. Yeah. Six years ago, a girl for Annabeth and two other demigods named Talia and Luke came to Camp half and Don't read it. Just say what happened. They got cornered by monsters. And uh, Talia fought off the monsters. She died. She Booster sacrificed and... herself when Grover was there. <laughs> First of all, let me just say. Oh, God. Not again. I'd have threw Grover at that <laughs> oh monster. My... I'd have been like, look, bruh. Oh, I'm, okay. a I'm a one, half god. You're one, not. Bye. One Tyson was probably like, he looked probably 11 years old. The mm -hmm. oldest person there was probably Luke, who probably could not lift Grover. Mm -hmm. Um, because he was 14 I've at the like, time. Grover, you're taking one for the team, bro. You're <laughs> Grover, taking one for that team. Who are you right now? 
I'm everybody. <laughs> everybody. Go over here. Take him for the team. Yeet. You yeet him like a field, right. like it's a field goal. Yes. We're all going to pick him up and throw him. All of us. Same time. Even seven year old Annabeth. Simultaneously. All of us. Even seven year old Annabeth. Yes. Who the was Cyclops baby would be eating um, hairy legs for dinner. Oh, it'd be like, hair, like hairy chicken legs. Then he would be in a hero really early. <laughs> but no. Anyway. Um. Grover is limping to camp. So yeah, um, and she sacrifices herself. So yeah, the, bar the barrier, ha the barrier had like reinforced the the tree had reinforced the barrier around camp, saved it from monsters, and it and uh, the pine had been had be, had been at camp uh, ever since it had been strong and it had been healthy. Um, now the needles were yellow. There was a huge pile of dead ones littered at the base of the tree. And the center trunk, three feet from the ground, had a puncture mark besides a little bullet hole. It was in green sap. So the tree is dying. Yeah. Which means Wonder she's who dying. did it. <laughs> and the tree, the magic barrier that was around camp is now, now yeah, broken, uh, right? Yeah. Uh, someone had poisoned the tree. You know, wonder who did it. <laughs> hmm. Well, if you read The Lightning Thief. Yeah. And you that may have so a pretty fail. strong indication of who it was. <laughs> I do, Luke. Uh, I was gonna say his name starts with an L, and it's not Lobster. <laughs> it's it was Luke. Yeah, I think we all knew that. So anyway, the next chapter is I get a new cabin mate. And then the and then the chapter after that is Demon Pigeon Attack. What? <laughs> yes. Okay. Demon pigeons all right. attack. All right. Okay. <laughs> Demon pigeons. Ooh, attack. I don't like birds, so that would be like. Blech. That would be like so the worst what, day of my life. So what do you think is gonna happen next chapter? Um, so, so, so it's ca I get a new cabin mate. So he's literally so it's gonna have to be a child of Poseidon mm -hmm. because that's what cabin he's in. Do you think that we're gonna get a new, like half blood child of Poseidon? Well, I know Poseidon isn't gonna come and stay up in there. Yeah. So it's gonna have to be a, another sibling. So do you think it's like a boy or a girl? I have no idea. But Poseidon, didn't you learn last time that you are not supposed to be having any more babies? Maybe it's a baby Hello? baby. Maybe it's a baby baby. Maybe like... Oh, Percy's right. going to babysit? Yes, Percy's going to babysit. Percy ain't got no time for that. It's, maybe it's a baby cow. And then the baby cat. I don't know. Yep, you, you, you know, it could, it's a poss possibility. Can it be and like then, a seahorse? A seahorse? Mermaid. And then the next Merman? one... Merman? And the next Trident. one is... Demon. Okay, sorry. Is the next one? Well, there is a son of Poseidon. His name is Trident. I'm not yeah. surprised. And the next one's Demon Pigeon Attack. So, what do you think's gonna happen then? Ew. That is gonna be like. That's gonna give me nightmares. Demon Pigeons Attack. Ugh. I always get pooped on by birds. I know that they say that it's good luck, but it's Wait, what? disgusting. Supposedly. So, what do you think's gonna happen later on in the book? Demons are gonna attack. Demon Pigeons. Mm hmm. I, I mean, if I was a demon, I would probably come and. To a pigeon, pigeon form. Just because they're yuck. Any bird. Uh, and do you think, like, uh, anything else is going to happen? Like, do you think what they're going to do anything about the tree? Well, yeah. Or do you think they're just going to let it die? No. No? I think they're going to have so to who do, figure who do you think out. So who do you think is this Tantalus guy? What, what, what do you think is his story? Tantalus, that's who took over Chiron's spot? Yes. Oh, I have no idea. Who do you think, what do you think is his story? I'm going to have to Google him so first. I'm no, happy. don't Google him. Oh. No, don't you dare Google him. That's the first I've heard of him. Okay, good. He wasn't in any of, you know, I read the Kane Chronicles. Yeah. He wasn't in that book. So do you think, um, so is there anything... Although I know it's different mythology. Is there anything that sounds like Tantalus? Like any words that you know from modern day or any phrases? Tantalus? Like like ta tantalizing? Tantalizing? Is that a word? Yes, it is. Tantalizing. Terrorizing? No, tantalizing. No. No, that that's that's the word that's associated with tantalus. Mm. We're gonna we're gonna look it up now. The the meaning of tantalizing. Okay. So that way you get um a sense of something. Oops. Tantalizing. You missed it. Uh tantalizing. To torment or tease with the sight or promise of something un unobtainable. Hmm. Hmm. So that that's your only that's your only hint that you guess that you get. So you think that they're going to with sight or promise of something unobtainable. So it's a promise of something that you cannot get. Yes, and it was named after Tantalus. That stinks. Yeah. 
Talk about naming your kid something really, like, not cool. You're like, oh, I have a baby. I'm naming it tantalizing. <laughs> no, that's a verb. You would name it tantalous. Whatever. It's still, like, jacked up. So, anyway, um, so what do you think Annabeth was dreaming of? When? Remember she said, um, have you been getting dreams? And oh. she's like, yeah, dreams about Grover. And she's just like, Grover, what's going on? Oh, I, I didn't hear her say she was having dreams. Yeah, she was having dreams, too. Oh. So what do you think she was having dreams about of? being rude? Or, or who do you think she was having dreams of? She was having dreams of being rude. Do you think there was a who in that dream? Probably okay. Percy. Okay. Uh-huh. She's dreaming of Percy. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm just laughing at how pale I look. Uh, yeah, I'm never wearing this black <laughs> lipstick um, in videos again because it looks so pale <laughs> and I'm already light-skinned. I'm already fair-skinned, kind of. Getting so fidgety right now. Uh, anyway, that is all for today's episode. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. <laughs>